What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video today here on Codename Pizza. Today we're going to be looking at the most difficult easter egg steps that got discovered during easter egg hunts. So whether these easter egg steps took the longest to discover or whether they were just really difficult to work out, I've selected five of these today and you guys will see them. Now this feels like a really awesome idea that we could make a lot of episodes on. So make sure if you guys can think of any easter egg steps that aren't in this video to make sure you leave them inside the comment section. And I'll feature some of your guys' comments in the next episode. Also, on this video, we are going to be aiming for 2,115 likes. So if you guys haven't done already, make sure you absolutely smash that like button right now and get this video to 2,115 likes. Also, if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button right now to become the latest member of the Pizza Club. We're aiming for 700,000 subscribers before the release of Black Ops 4 in October. And with the rate that we're going right now, it looks like we're going to do it. So make sure you do click that subscribe button, click the like button, and let's jump in into this top five video of the hardest Easter eggs steps or easter eggs to discover number five so coming in at number five, we have got an Easter egg on the map Moon. Now it wasn't on the original Black Ops 1 version of Moon, but it was in the Black Ops 3 Zombie Chronicles version of Moon, and that is the Space Dog Easter egg. Now ever since Black Ops 1 was released with their version of Moon, there was always a rumor going around that you could get a Space Dog on the map. Now this was not true. Unfortunately, we could never access anything like this inside of Black Ops 1's version of Moon, but Treyarch heard us and they put that Easter egg inside of Black Ops 3. Now this Easter egg actually took quite a long time time to figure out after the release of Zombie Chronicles. I think it was around three or four weeks until all the steps for this was actually discovered. So that's quite a long time. Now to do this Easter egg, all you've got to do is make sure you've got the wave gun on Moon. Go down to Area 51 and shoot one of the Hellhounds with that wave gun. You've also got to go and make sure that you shoot every teddy bear on the box locations with that wave gun as well and go over to a random part of the map near the teleporter and go and shoot that part with the wave gun as well. At this point, you'll be able to get the hacker, take it to the dog bowl that's now got a Hellhound, a teddy and a bow next to it and hack that bowl. This will then allow you to start collecting souls inside of the bowl and once you've got 50 souls inside of that bowl a space dog will appear on the map moon. It's a very very cool easter egg that Treyarch gave the community but it did take a very long time to discover so that's why it's on our list today at number 5. Let me know inside of the comment section right now have you guys done the space dog easter egg? Put number 5 and yes or 5 and no inside of the comment section right now and let's jump straight over to see what is at number 4. Number 4. So coming in at number four is the first zombies map that we received on Black Ops 3. And that was, of course, Shadows of Evil. Now, there's loads of side Easter eggs inside of Shadows of Evil. And it's one of my personal favorite maps because of that. There's a lot of secrets in Shadows of Evil, an amazing storyline. But the one thing about Shadows of Evil that people seem to forget is how long it actually took to discover the final step of the main Easter egg quest. Now, everything up to the boss fight was discovered before release of Black Ops 3. But then on release day of Black Ops 3, teams got together in teams of four, they beat the boss, got the gate worm spawned in, but they didn't know how to finish the easter egg off. This actually lasted for around a week until one team managed to actually finish off the easter egg by going into beast mode and shocking the boxes next to the tram line. As soon as the tram hit the gate worm in the middle and someone shocked all the keepers, the cutscene began to play for the very first time and it was an awesome moment in zombies history. But it did take a full week to discover this easter egg step and that's why it's on our list today at number four. Let me know inside the comment section right now, have you guys done the Shadows of Evil Easter egg? Put number four and yes, or put number four and no inside the comment section right now. But let's go and check out what is at number three. Number three. So coming in at number three is an Easter egg that takes place on Kino de Totem. Now it's not on the original Kino de Totem from Black Ops 1, but it is on Kino de Totem from the Zombie Chronicles version on Black Ops 3. Now this Easter egg is on this list today because it took a long time to discover. And that isn't because the Easter egg is actually hard to do. It's actually quite simple and you guys could probably jump onto a game right now and get it done very, very quickly. But it just took a very long time for the community to find this one for some reason. And that is the Knocking Door Max Ammo Samantha Manxis Easter Egg. Now to do this Easter Egg, load up a game of Kino de Totem and go and make your way out into the alleyway where you'll see this blue door right here. Now probably around every minute, you'll start to hear someone knock on the inside of that door. Now at this point, you need to listen out to how many times someone is knocking on that door. They'll knock three sets of numbers and you need to then knife the door back 
in that correct order. You've got to do this three full times, and once that is finished, you then get the confirmation noise of the Samantha Maxis doll. Go make your way over to the side of the stage in the theater room, where you'll then see Samantha Maxis lay on the ground for you to hold the action button on that doll, and they will begin the hide and seek Easter egg. Just like any other hide and seek Easter egg on Black Ops 3, you just go and make your way around the map, finding different Samantha Maxis dolls, and once you've done it successfully, you then go back to the original doll location where you'll be able to get a max ammo. Now, like I said, this Easter egg isn't difficult at all. It's actually really, really easy. It just took the community so long to find this one, probably just because everyone else was playing Origins or playing Moon or playing other maps that had already confirmed Easter eggs on those. Kino Totem is a great map to do high rounds on, but it was never looked at as a map with an Easter egg because it never had one originally on Black Ops 1. So that's probably why it took so long to discover, but that is why it's on our list today at number three. Let me know if you guys have completed this Easter egg inside of the comment section right now by putting three yes or three and no. And let's go and check out what is at number two. Number two. So coming in at number two, this had to be on the list. Now I'm sure as soon as you guys saw the title for this video, one thing came to mind and that is Revelation. Now Treyarch really did do a number on us over on Revelations. I feel as a community, we started to get really comfortable with Easter eggs. The Rising Track got solved in a couple of days. Zetsubo no Shima was finished in one day. Gora Krovi was a couple of days and then Revelations came out. Now it took a full day just to discover the first step of the Easter egg. And then after that, the second step was found the day after. But the third step was discovered the day after that, but no one could finish that step. And that was the bone step on Revelations. During this step, you've got to go around the map, you've got to shoot certain parts of the map with a Pack-a-Punch weapon, and then use an upgraded Apothecary Servant to collect the bones that come out of that rock work. Now, a lot of people managed to find certain pieces of these rocks and got certain bones, but there was always one bone short of actually having a full skeleton. Now, it took around seven days to get this bone to finally appear on the map, and someone managed to do this by turning on the zero gravity inside of the and drag and once they did that they ran along the wall run they managed to shoot the correct spot on that wall run and what do you know a bone came out of the wall the easy bother and servant on it and the step was complete it was a very very hidden step and i personally love these type of easter eggs inside of zombies easter egg steps that take so so long because they're really hidden i think are really good to have inside of easter eggs along with other steps that use logic as well i love this type of easter egg step but the revelations easter egg bone step took a week to discover and that's why it's on our list today at number two but let's go and check out what is at number one. Number one. So coming in at number one is an Easter egg that has taken longer than any other Easter egg to discover on any Zombies game ever. Now this Easter egg was actually only discovered last year, even though this Easter egg was in fact on Call of Duty Black Ops 1's version of Shangri-La. And that is the Exploding Monkey Easter egg. Now this is almost impossible to do unless you input the correct coordinations on your controller. You've got to be in the exact right spot at the exact right time and move in a certain order and button combination. If done correctly, all the monkeys on the Shangri-La map will explode. It's absolutely insane, and it's crazy to think that Treyarch back then were putting in Easter eggs that they probably thought no one would ever discover ever. But little did they know, the community managed to find this around a year ago. Now, it wasn't discovered in-game. Someone did manage to find a string of code that said this, and then they went into game and managed to get the footage. But it is very, very cool that they, even though they used the code, were the very first people to get this to happen. And you never know, there might be Easter eggs out there inside of zombie maps right now that absolutely no one has currently done. So as long as everyone still carries on playing zombies, maybe one day we will find them and maybe that person will be you. But let me know inside the comment section right now, have you guys ever done this Easter egg? I've never done this one, so let me know if you guys have. And also let me know about the other ones on today's list as well. Have you guys ever got the space dunk on moon? Put five and yes and no inside the comment section. Have you guys ever done the shadows of evil main Easter egg step? Put four and yes and no inside the comment section right now as well. Have you guys ever done the Kino de Totem Max Ammo Samantha Max's Door Easter Egg on Kino de Totem on Black Ops 3? Put number three and yes or no inside the comment section right now. Have you guys ever completed the entire Revelations Easter Egg? Put number two and yes or no. And of course, the one that you guys just saw, put number one and yes or no inside the comment section if you guys have ever gone onto Black Ops 1's version of Shangri-La and done the Exploding Monkey Easter Egg. I'm super, super intrigued to see which one of these that you guys have done. And I will, of course, have my list inside the comment section right now as well. If you guys
guys to see which ones I have done. And also, before the end of the video, make sure you guys let me know inside of the comment section any more Easter egg steps or main Easter egg quests that you guys think are really, really difficult and they took a while to discover. But thank you so much for watching this video. If we can aim for 2,115 likes on this video right now, that'd be absolutely insane. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to become the latest member of the Pizza Club. Thank you so much to every single one of you guys for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next video or the next live stream. Thank you for watching, and peace out.